basically what a multi beam does is it's going to emit sound waves from the ship's hull to the sea bed. And the amount of time it takes for the ping to hit the sea floor and come back up and get recorded in the multi beam head. It uses that time to calculate the distance between the multi beam head and the sea floor. And that's how the multi beam is able to get a very accurate picture of what the seabed looks like. Multi beam is incredibly important for what it goes on in the Maldives. You're a, a nation of islands surrounded by water, and by being able to map what's underneath, you'll have easier navigation you'll be able to assure your navigation coming into ports with ground clearance. Um, you'll also be able to assess the contractors that uh, you're getting in to do dredging work and assess the work they've done and understand that if they've finished their work or not and how much if there's, there is left to do. Yeah, you can do volume calculations on the, on the amount of sediments removed from harbours. You can do reef. Um, you can look survey your reefs with multi-beam and you can identify where they're coral and where it's a sand. You know, you can, you can say this is a coral area and we want to protect this, whereas this is just sand here and maybe this is an area that we might designate for reclaiming or using for reclaimed dredging work. So we are currently on board WS Morrisby. WS Morrisby is a shallow water survey vessel. This vessel is named after Captain Robert Morrisby, who was the captain of the survey vessel which was assigned to map the Maldives between 1834 and 36. The maps drawn during this expedition was the first accurate navigation charts published for the Maldives. This vessel is a major milestone in updating and creating accurate charts of the Maldives. The vessel is designed for fast mobilization. On a typical day, we would start early in the morning and we would transit to the survey area. Once we reach the site, we will carry out a patch test. Patch testing is basically running the vessel along a series of lines to calculate the offset measurements of the sensor. A multi-beam survey involves handling of multiple components, including positioning system, correction signals, sound velocity sensor, sound velocity profiler and the multi-beam echo sounder itself. A stable mounting assembly is the key to clean data collection. In order to have all these systems running at the same time, we also need very powerful workstations and specialist softwares. We carry out several sound velocity profile measurements during the survey. This equipment has the ability to measure sound velocity profiles along the water column. These sensors are used to measure multiple depths from one transducer array. Once we have created the grid model, we can then move on to using this data for different types of analysis such as creating contour maps, aspect maps and slope analysis.